Hi, boys and girls. I'm Miss Stephanie from the Palmer Branch of the Eastern Area Public Library. And today I'm here to talk to you about service dogs and therapy dogs. Do you know the difference between a therapy dog and a service dog? A therapy dog is trained to provide comfort and affection to people in hospitals or nursing homes. You might have had dogs come to your school and listen to you read. That's a therapy dog. Oftentimes here at the Palmer Branch, we have therapy dogs that come and love listening to children read to them. A service dog is trained to help people with disabilities. People that are blind might need extra help, and there are special dogs that are trained just to do that. Today I'd like to show you some books that we have here at the Palmer Branch that I think you would enjoy reading about therapy dogs and service dogs. We're going to start with therapy dogs. One of the books is Ben, a very best furry friend. This book was written by Holly Rouse. Ben is a therapy dog and he loves going and helping people and doing all kinds of special things. He especially loves going into schools and to libraries to hear children read to them. We also have a book called Willow the Therapy Dog. Willow the Therapy Dog is a greyhound. This book was written by Lisa Jerry. Greyhounds are very tall, slender dogs. Meet Willow. Willow is a greyhound. Greyhounds have long bodies and pointy snouts, which help them run really fast. Once again, Willow, being a therapy dog, loves to go into hospitals with other therapy dogs. And you can see in this picture how much he brings comfort to the patient in the hospital. Now, a service dog is different. Service dogs help people with disabilities. And the two books I'm going to show you today, Allie's Busy Day, The Story of a Service Dog by Maureen Pranghofer is, also, is a service dog. And her owner is blind. Allie has been trained to do many things to help her owner, such as picking up a pencil, or the remote control. She will bring books to her, re her owner to read, as well as a towel. This is a very nice story about all the hard work a service dog does. And we have Nadine, my funny and trusty guide dog by Carol Chiado Fleshman. Now Nadine is also a, ther is a service dog, and her owner is also blind. But Nadine gets into lots and lots of troubles because she is very silly. One day, her owner and she decided to take a walk, but a snowstorm came, and it was a bad snowstorm. You're going to want to read the book to find out what happens and how Nadine saved the day. We also have some nonfiction books. Nonfiction books are books that are true. One of the books are, is called Dogs on Duty, Soldiers' Best Friends on the Battlefield and Beyond. This book is filled with pictures and it shows all the help that a service dog does for our servicemen. Another book that I really enjoy reading is called Ground Zero Dogs. These are all the dogs that helped during 9-11. This book is also filled with many pictures. And in this book, you will read about a special service dog or search and rescue dog, Sirius. And here is a replica of Sirius. It's a little stuffed animal, but at one time, Sirius was a real dog and helped during the 9-11 attacks. So, if you stop by the Palmer Branch, soon we have a craft kit of a dog waiting for you to pick up. And I hope you'll check out some of the books on service and therapy dogs when you stop by our branch. 
Thank you. See you soon.